guys so this is such an easy look I'm gonna take the covergirl lotion and this is their glow lotion and I'm gonna put this on as my primer really great lotion I definitely recommend it and I'm gonna take some Neutrogena chapstick I guess Vaseline type of deal because my lips are dry and I'm gonna take the 3502 and this is by Morphe love this palette it is only $25 and it's sold on the Ulta website as well and I'm just gonna take this shade and this is gonna be my transition shade I'm gonna go to the front corner to the back corner and I'm just gonna lightly dust it in I'm not doing a crazy smoky eye I love how these colors blend really really easily like you can use the crappiest brush ever and they still blend really nice then I'm gonna take this darker tan shade I never got the plastic part that says the name so whatever I'm just I'll link all the details below of stuff that I don't know but um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of put this a little bit lower than the first shade that I did and I'm just going to kind of sweep it on. It doesn't really have to be perfect because I like to do my eyes first and then clean up whatever at the end that happens. So you guys can see I'm just using a big fluffy brush. You don't have to have anything crazy expensive. Then I'm going to take this deep mauve tannish brown type of shade I don't even know what to call it really and I'm going to focus that on my outer corners I'm using more of a flat brush so I can kind of put the color exactly where I want it and then you'll see me go and blend it so here I'm taking the blending brush and this is where I'm just going to kind of diffuse the ends of that deep dark shade so again using that flat brush super super easy just put the darker color where you want it and then kind of let your blending brush blend out the edges and it'll kind of buff it out and kind of give you that cat like appearance make your eyes look a little higher for me it gives me that effect that I have more lid space then I'm going to take this pinky champagne color it actually comes out a little bit darker and I'm going to use my finger just because I want to get as much product on my lids as possible and I'm just going to put that on my lid and then you're going to see me take a really small flat brush and this is where I'm going to diffuse out the crease of my eye so if you don't have a crease you can kind of just like make one up so you can see this kind of just blends the matte to the glitter so it looks a little bit more clean and again I just like to keep blending as I go just to make sure everything looks nice and it doesn't look too caked on and like messy I'm gonna take this little white goldy color I don't know I love how I'm coming up with these color names um so there's that the only thing I wish about the Morphe I wish it said the name like underneath that would be awesome then I'm gonna take this covergirl liner and give myself some cat eyes do like the liner these this is dermablend you guys probably heard me talk about this foundation before Rem reminds me so much of Giorgio Armani like I love this foundation it's very silky and luminous and you can see it's covering up all my redness and imperfections I really love this Sigma brush too this is their 3d HD so that you can get up next to your eyeliner so if you messed up you can really clean it up really quickly so I really like that and I also like that it doesn't give me that streaky appearance so then I'm going to take the Maybelline concealer and again I forget exactly what it's called but I'll link it all below in the details and this has like a nice yellow undertone which I really like because I'm a little bit red a little bit blue so for me this really works out great I like it it's not thick and heavy and harsh and it doesn't clog my pores so I'm going to put it around my smile lines up on my nose I'm not really going to do crazy contour then I'm going to take Derma Blend, and this is their translucent powder. I love this powder. I like it so much better than Laura Geller. Um, this doesn't leave me dry. It doesn't leave me crepey underneath my eyes. It lasts all day, and it's also nice because I put it into wherever I get a little bit more oily, so it helps set that. So I like to put it on my chin because that's kind of where my makeup moves around and on my forehead. I'm going to take this CoverGirl powder and I'm kind of going to set the rest of my face and this has a little more color to it so my face kind of comes back to life. My chest is a little bit paler but I did just use um, like a spray tan lotion type of thing so my chest is eventually going to warm up to what my face looks like. So I'm just warming this up and I'm kind of just placing this all over my face and then you're also going to see me use the same brush to kind of dust off that powder because I don't want to look like a skeleton. So I do like to get some of that powder onto underneath my eyes so that it kind of all blends nicely and it just doesn't look too much like a harsh contour. 
I literally go through like a whole Yeti of water when I'm filming because I get crazy thirsty. And I'm going to take this bronzer and this is by e.l.f. And just use a light hand. I went a little too hard as you guys saw, but this blends really easily. So it's not really a big deal, but the color is very deep and dark. But um, yeah, I love it. This is my summer bronzer, but that's okay. I'm also going to bring it down to my chest too because I'm like, oh my God, why is my face so tan? But my chest isn't. But um, I use Tan Lux and it's like a little bit of like a watery self tanner and you kind of put it in whatever lotion you use and it's really cool because in like two hours you're crazy tan and you don't look like an oompa loompa you look really pretty so I love it then I'm going to take this essence essence and this is their blush super inexpensive too and it's like a nice mauvey pretty color I really like it it kind of just makes me look like I have cheeks I'm gonna take this peacock covergirl mascara this mascara is okay it's not my favorite um, but then I'm going to take this elf spray. Love this elf spray. I actually put this in my car a lot for after I work out to kind of make my skin not feel so dried out. Then I'm taking this Queen CoverGirl lip shade. And this is like matte, but not. It's like matte, but creamy. And I really like the formula of it. It feels really good and it doesn't ball up and get like little white balls. Then I'm taking those tanny kind of colors and I'm putting them back underneath my eye. And I never put mascara on the underneath of my eye really because it closes my eyes off I'm just adding that pop of that gold that I already use and that's it for this look really easy everybody can do it I hope you love it